Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, as you probably noticed in my videos recently for the past, well, several days, I've been at HCS in Charlotte, and at HCS Charlotte, they had a bunch of demo stations set up where people could try out Halo Infinite Season 3, and I've been covering a lot of the Season 3 content so far, including maps and a few other things. So, for this video, we'll be covering the last map that will be in a Season 3 update, at least the last map that I'm aware of, and that map is Chasm. So, this map, well, it may look very familiar to you, especially if you've played the campaign, and that is because I mean, most of this map looks like it's exactly from the campaign. One of the, um, one of the missions where you go underground into one of the 400 facilities. I don't remember the name of that mission in particular because, well, in campaign, all the missions kind of blend together or are more like blend together as in like you know the campaigns but like it's like all one take which is actually a very interesting approach to the infinite campaign that i've always um that i've always thought of but it's yeah i mean it's from that one it's like very early mission actually it's when you're looking for the weapon in campaign and you cross like this area that's kind of like broken and i think the pilot mentions that the halo ring kind of feels broken or something like that but yeah it's a very early mission i think it's like the second mission or like the second chapter or whatever you want to call it but yeah that's that's why this may feel and look very familiar to you but it's not a hundred percent the same it's had a few changes obviously to suit a more multiplayer role but that being said i think i i, I like that they're doing some campaign areas in multiplayer i've actually never been bothered by that i know some people may say like oh they're just reusing you know campaign assets and stuff and just you know it's kind of like a shortcut to multiplayer maps but i i don't see that at all because, you know, it's it's not unusual for multiplayer games to use something from campaign. And I actually like that, too. I'm, I've I've always liked it like that. Like, way back in, like, really old games like Halo 1, Halo 2, and, like, non-Halo games as well. I think it's pretty cool when they use areas from campaign for multiplayer. And vice versa, I guess. Uh, but that's like a chicken and egg kind of thing. But in any case, this map is obviously meant for smaller teams. This is definitely perfect for a 4v4. The other two maps, they were definitely much bigger maps than this. And you can only do 4v4 on those maps. And I remember like Cliffhanger was okay for 4v4. And Oasis, definitely a big no-no for 4v4. But, you know, at HCS Charlotte, all we could do was 4v4. Because there were only... <laughs> that's how it was set up. So that's... that's uh, Those were the only game types that we could really do. But... 4v4 really worked on this and I don't have footage of it but we did also do like capture the flag game on this map and I actually had a lot of fun doing capture the flag like it was actually really I don't know I was able to like sneak around pretty well with the flag and uh, I had like a really great game doing capture the flag on this map and this might actually be like of all the three maps that I was able to try at HCS Charlotte I would say this one would be my I almost want to say favorite actually for gameplay purposes, for small gameplay purposes. Um, as far as like beauty goes, or like, you know, the scenery and stuff, the other two maps definitely are better than this one, because this one is an indoor map and stuff like that, and the other ones have much more beautiful vistas out there. But this map, it's definitely very fun, and like, this could almost be like the new Guardian, actually, like from Halo 3. Uh, obviously, it's like a completely different layout than Guardian, but you know, like, as far as, like, that iconic, fun map that everybody, like, you know, it's a go-to map for, like, small games or even, like, ridiculous BTP games. Uh, you probably have, like, some something, like, really silly set up on this map for that. Who knows? But I feel like this could, this map has that kind of potential. And I definitely am actually kind of looking forward to playing more on this map when the update comes out officially. But, you know, like, from my experience playing on this map at HCS Charlotte, it's, it's definitely by far probably my favorite map for like i said for smaller game types like 4v4 <clears throat> and i've we've done quite a few on this map like we've done escalation slayer we've done free for all uh, although when we did free for all there were some issues on the map where uh i mean we only had eight players and with eight player free for all we had like one where like four players spawned next to each other at the beginning so i I'm, i assume that's probably like a bug or something but yeah, that, that was just the only issue I had of the map. But other than that, it was really fun. And we also did capture the flag, like I said. Also fun on this map. But anyways, there you guys have it. That is um, a little preview of the map Chasm at, uh, from the Halo Infinite Season 3 update at HCS Charlotte. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it be interesting. And uh, if you did, leave a like. 
and uh, let me know your thoughts on the map. What do you guys think? You know, do you think this could be like a really cool, fun map or the next Guardian? <laughs> uh, you know, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.